My role at Anglo American is as a project manager in the global shared services area, specifically within accounting services. I joined Anglo American in June 2009 as part of the team to implement the Global Shared Services Project, um, which uh, would include accounting services and employee services. The Global Shared, Pro um, Shared Services Project is, is a part of a bigger program within Anglo-American uh, to strive towards a one Anglo, uh, which through common process processes and procedures would aim to optimise our, our business. Some of the challenges faced during our, our, our projects, um, if we look at a standard shared services project, it moves through a number of um, phases, the first being transitions. So here we have a situation where we have a number of people doing the same work in, in different business units in different geographical uh, locations, and the aim is to now bring all those people together, all the work into one central point, and ensure that that runs day to day smoothly. If you consider that, uh, there's a big uh, change management uh, aspect required here, skills transfer. A lot of the people that were doing the work may not be the same people who would be doing it going forward. Um, out of this phase, we then moved into a stabilization phase. Um, clearly, not, not everybody does or approaches work in the same manner. Totally different processes and during the stabilization phase we aim just to bed down the, the work so that day-to-day uh, -day operations are, are maintained. We then move on to the optimization phase during which we look at how can we standardize all these different um, work processes and what business improvement initiatives can we implement to, to make ourselves function much more optimally. So, so out of that comes some, some key questions is now suddenly you have a case where you have thousands of entries uh, which you need to process daily, weekly and monthly. Um, they are generally standard, repetitive, time consuming and out of that you know, we ask the question how can we deal with this without necessarily increasing our, our resource capacity. And this is where Windshuttle came in. We felt that this tool would help us tremendously in actually overcoming this, this problem. We decided to choose Windshuttle for a number of reasons. The first being security. Initially there was a concern that uh, using an external tool might bypass the internal controls of SAP. Um, we, we did a test and we confirmed that that is not the case. So whatever sh uh, SAP does not allow you to do, uh, Windshuttle will not allow you to do that either. Uh, price, we felt for the benefits we were getting out of the tool, that price was, it was, it was, a, it was a positive business case. Um, ease of use, the tool is very easy to use. We did not have a need to employ any specialized skills. Uh, to run with the tool. We could literally train up a, a super user within a day or two and they were quite capable to move forward with the tool on their own. Um, as far as support, support goes, uh, we, we, we're quite comfortable with support. Not only is the tool easy to use, but any support issues which cannot be dealt with by our super users can quite easily be resolved with the Windshuttle help desk. We use Windshuttle in a number of areas within GSS. We've only been using the product for about a year, so there's a lot more scope um, that we could actually include in, in, in the use of this tool. Currently, we're using it within our fixed assets area, where we have a need to create thousands and thousands of, of assets or change our asset registers, um, and that is very effectively dealt with um, using Windshuttle. We also make use of the tool within our accounts payable, expense reimbursements um, de departments, where we process large numbers of invoices on a weekly and monthly basis. Um, and we are finding that um, we are deriving huge benefits out of the tool in these areas.
We currently only make use of two modules within um, Wind Shuttle, the one being the transaction and to the runner. We have uh, currently about five transaction licenses and about 10 runner licenses. Um, those have been used to full capacity, but we are aware of um, a number of other modules we would like to use within the business. So we'll definitely be looking at that going forward. Absolutely, we've, we've shown great cost cutting and efficiency improvement savings through the use of Wind Shuttle. As an example, we implemented Wind Shuttle within our expense reimbursements department, where the guys were processing thousands of invoices a week. What would normally take a person a week to process uh, before Wind Shuttle would now take us one day, um, and that results in an 80% um, efficiency saving. So there are financial benefits as well as efficiency improvements here. So especially in the, in the shared services area, um, that's exactly what we're trying to achieve. So not only can we now bring on more scope into that area, um, but we don't necessarily need to bring on, on more people to achieve, to achieve the same results. Since the adoption of Wind Shuttle, um, the news has spread to the other departments of the kind of efficiencies we are achieving. And I think that's really started getting people's um, minds going, you know, we really want to work smarter, not harder. So I think it's contributed to a lot to the general optimization drive. So everybody can now stop and look at what they're doing. Um, and if they feel that it, it kind of meets our model of processing large volumes um, of data, a repetitive type processes, then we can, we can do it. So I think the guys are really coming to us now and saying, well, can we not look at, at, at helping them? With regards to business process improvements, absolutely, we feel that the, there is room for improvements within our own space and we feel that some of the wind shuttle modules could assist us in that regard. Um, in our general accounting area, for example, there's a lot of back and forth um, movement via Outlook to, to approve intercompanies and cross allocations. Um, with the wind shuttle forms module, could allow us to, using SAP's org structure, um, move that process electronically throughout the organization to, to improve that process. Some potential future scope for the use of, of Wind Shuttle within Anglo-American. Shared services uh, offer services to a number of business units within our organization. We have currently implemented some, some Wind Shuttle initiatives within um, a few of them, and our aim going forward is to now roll it out to the remaining business units and also look at what other areas uh, we could bring um, into the wind shuttle space. Mm -hmm.